Next amazing location. Oh. It's gonna be n near the any mall farm. The any mall farm? Yeah, any. Like the person any. Ah. Um, a mall. I don't like know if a mall? And then farm. Damn. That's. I never read the location names. That's honestly amazing. A true? Any mall is her name, and she's a farm. Any mall once had a farm. Oh, yeah, you can even yeah, see oh. Animal Farm. Look at Any Mall's farm. That's Look actually really animals. cool. Why can't I mean, we animals. clean that? Developers, please let us clean Any Mall Farm. Yeah. I will uh. literally pay you five dollars. Would you pay five dollars for that? Actually, for the balloons. Oh, he's paying with the balloons. Yeah, I know I'm kind of a rich guy. <laughs> that did not really I work out. I do have out. the money. True. At least more money than me. I don't know. Uh, there's a f someone coming down. No, my dude. Yes, fallen, and he could not get up. <laughs> no, we can bring him to any mall. Hold well, down, young up, one. Probably. <laughs> I like how he just slid down the slope. Honestly, I'm just waiting for them to make Power Wars Simulator 2 and it's just an open world game. Oh, that would be so incredible if that actually worked. Yeah, and you could just like go to it instead of like, you know, just clicking to go to a location, you actually can like drive there. Yeah. And like every house is cleanable basically. And yeah. at the start, you know, the entire town is sturdy and then at the end like... It just becomes cleaner. And maybe and even more NPCs like start walking around again when you clean it up or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, imagine it's like, and every blood moon it gets dirty again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Y y you know, but The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, I know it never finished it though. Imagine they had like a three day cycle like that and like every three days you had to reset it but you would get more powerful oh. upgrades. I would kind of probably enjoy that. Though yeah, honestly in Majora's Mask I don't enjoy that. <laughs> I mean you would probably also get like a power washer to slow down time or something like the mystical time stream disrupting power washer yeah or you can know. uh press the button in a specific order like long long short long or something and then Ooh. it's uh, that's the sign that time slowed down yeah just just like in the mirrors of the mask true Ah, uh, we should make games together, Dave. Truly. We could be the game developers. Alright, hear me out. Power Wars Battle Royale. Okay, tell me how it's supposed to work and I might agree. I did not think that far. Okay, because I was thinking, do you know, like, build battle in, like, Hypixel or whatever server it was in Minecraft? Yeah. Basically, you get a location and you fight against other players, and whoever builds it first just wins that round, and the one who mm. completes it last just fails. Ooh, or if you don't finish it in a specific time, you fail. I think that's that how it works work. on that server. That yeah. Could work, I guess. That would be pretty hype. And if two people don't finish, then the one who finished less would, of course, fail. Yeah. Yeah. 
That would be so amazing. That would honestly be pretty cool, but then you'd sadly have to like only make small stuff. Which could also be really fun though, like imagine you have like a Barbie doll house you have to clean. Yeah, yeah. I would kinda like to do that. Or imagine cleaning <laughs> something with like, you know like those games where you like, the Candy Crush like games where when you get a match it damages the enemy. Oh yeah, yeah. Imagine that every time you get the ding sound effect, like a rocket would fly to the enemy, covering Ooh. more of their building in dirt or something. That is actually such a sick idea. It's so stupid, honestly. <laughs> but imagine that, that could actually have competitive, like, uh, strategies at that point, like it met uh, Tetris 99 had. Ooh, like you could maybe even, like, if you know that you're being targeted by someone and you just happen to hear the rocket come, you can maybe shoot it out of the air, minimizing the damage. Yeah, if you clean the rocket enough, it gets sent back. <laughs> so Ooh. you have to split your focus on if you want to clean the rocket or if it's okay if it lands because, like, that area is dirty anyway, so it won't do too much damage, you know? Then we have, like, a... Uh Ganondorf like boss battle at the end where just people send rockets between each other. <laughs> that would be so sick though. Imagine like someone streaming it and then he gets stream sniped by like 50 people that send rockets at him. Okay, but then you can do it like reverse, uh, that, like attack all the attackers that mode in like Tetris 99. Yeah, yeah, true, true. And then if you deflect it once it just turns into 50. <laughs> missiles that all attack the other players. This is so stupid, I love it. I would I kind of want that. <laughs> like, I could kind of see that honestly becoming like a Splatoon game mode, kind of. Oh, we should develop for Nintendo! Do they have good working hours, actually? I don't know, I just know that Japan doesn't, but I don't know how, how they are. I thought Nintendo has good hours, but I could be wrong on that, so I'm not gonna say it like I know it, you know. Because I have, I've, what? I have no idea about like the internal structure of Nintendo. I don't either, but I think I once heard... I think Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom got delayed because they didn't want to overwork their developers. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> but I don't know if been. that's like in the Japanese sense not overworking the developers because they have like 12 hour days and stuff while, you know, we don't even have that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, our 8 hour work days of like, where we basically have to fully be attentive are already uh, like... A lot. Yeah. Yeah, if they have a 12-hour system at Nintendo's, then I definitely wouldn't want to work there. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. Uh, I don't say kind of doubt that it's like good at Nintendo to work, but... I kind of doubt it too, but I also just don't know when I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, because, you know, the childhood yeah. feels... Yeah, and I mean, I do like Nintendo. They, they make great games. Yeah. The company is like horrible at like other yep. things. Especially at managing a community, but that's not the problem right now. <laughs> oh, wait, I, uh. I didn't see my completion bar because the game was like, you ain't gonna see that. Until just now, or...? Yeah, because like, you you probably have seen like the thing where your entire HUD is missing basically and you have to like quickly press escape once to see the HUD again. Yeah, I had that the entire mission last time someone. Yeah, that basically I had that this time and I didn't realize I didn't... Then I was like, wait, I cannot see how, how, if like this object is clean already or not. Damn! <sighs> Dave. What? How did you like the rain yesterday? Oh yeah, it rained yesterday. Yeah. 
I liked it a lot because before it rained it was 30 degrees outside, after the rain it was 27. Yeah. That was But you nice. know what? I think my what? room is 30 degrees or something yet again. Oh, that's uh, nice. Mine is only 28.8. Let's go. I am literally dying in here. Wait, I'm gonna drink something for a second. Just so I don't Hydration completely check. perish. Ooh, even without a redeem. I'm always hydrating without redeem. How generous. Uh, yeah. People don't even have to tell him that he should stay healthy. Imagine. I would never. I only do stuff when I get paid in viewer points, which definitely count as real payment. Yeah, totally. Uh, I should go to like our local market and stuff and just tell them, yeah, I'm gonna pay you in viewer points. How about that? By the way, you aren't really allowed to like make redeems for viewer points that like get you real money and stuff, right? I think you are allowed to do that. You are? Interesting. Or wait, what do you mean allowed to, to get you real, mo real money and stuff? Like if someone has like viewer points enabled like that he he could set up a redeem thing that like says maybe get an amazon gift card or free merch or something oh no you can do that uh i know mitzkiff i think that's how that one big streamer guy is called right or Never one of them, them at least all right but i think he had has or had a redeem where you could get a ps5 if you watched him for long enough. I think it was like 2 million viewer points or something, so you also had to pretty much gamble to ever get that much money, but theoretically you could get it. Interesting. Yeah. Because I know someone that like did that, because I had a friend and he was like, I need to watch this guy's stream. It was some kind of you know those streamers that like always flex the kind of shoes they bought and stuff? Uh, never seen that with a streamer, but I know YouTubers that do that, I guess. Basically, it was one of those YouTubers that also like streamed sometimes, I guess. Yeah. And basically, he wanted to, I think, like get a shoe or something. So he like Damn. had a stream open on his phone the entire time. Yeah. That was pretty interesting. True. Also this like this this kid that I that was that had that he he's like someone that likes to collect or like likes to get designer clothes, mm. I guess. Damn, getting scammed by big companies. I Not love really it. my thing. I mean if you wanna if you think Supreme looks cool and feels good. You can buy it. I like. Honestly, I'm happy with my shop with a goofy dinosaur on it that says something like "Eat your breakfast, kids." <laughs> that would be a banger shirt. No one should have a shirt store. like that. <laughs> oh, we should create merch like that. Actually, Honestly, isn't there like a website where you can just create designs and they like take the co uh, take all the cost of it on themselves? Uh, like, oh, what's it called? Uh, I know there's a website like that, and you just get royalties for everyone who buys it, and you can even set those to like only get three dollars per sale or something. Interesting. We could do that. And then I they have to pay like ten dollars to get a shirt which might be bad quality, which just has a dinosaur on it which says eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna make a kid size, only adult sizes. <laughs> I mean of course! Do you think kids watch us? We say fuck. True. Kids would never watch people who say curse words like that. Yeah, and now you've used up our one curse word of the video, goddammit. <laughs> no, no. 
<laughs> well, enjoy your next curse word in the next video, kids. Uh, adults. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> By the way, saying kids there was not intentional. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, my brain cells are just that many, man. Yeah. I remember uh, when they actually made like the distinction between kids content and adult content. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, I... I don't know why even, like... I mean, kids... because on one, on one they cannot show ads, I guess. I mean, yeah, but it's like... <sighs> kids are gonna watch everything anyways, no matter what you put in their way. I mean, yeah, they're just gonna lie about their age or something at some point. Yeah, or... I've even seen, like, there's programs made that can just mostly bypass restrictions where you have to like give your ID and stuff so that's not even really working anymore. Oh you're right. You do, do you have to actually give your ID for I think you have to give yeah. your ID for I eighteen plus content, right? Yep. That's what I did. Yeah, I remember that. I Having to do that at some point. Yeah, because as soon as you like talk about anything that could be the slightest bit m not monetization friendly it's like you have to be 18 plus now f you Five. yeah yeah uh. that's that's fun yeah i hate the current state of the internet where they just try to make it worse every time because oh, no, people don't understand it oh no something really funny what you, you know the, 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 the hit game Fall Guys, right? Yeah. That came to the Epic Game Store. Yeah. And when people were downloading it, they'd like, give their age when they wanted to play it, right? Yeah. I don't know why you had to tell them your age, but like, it popped up, so people typed in their age, I guess. Uh-huh. I mean, it's an E for everyone game, so you like you had to be three years old at least. Which most people probably were. Uh, you don't know the Fall Guys community. I'm part of but it. The funny thing is, uh, the age was like linked also to the Epic Game Store. Uh, so all the under under 13 year olds got banned from the Fortnite account. <laughs> That's funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> All the V-Bucks they spent just gone until they they turned 14. Uh, 14. That is so stupid. Who thought of that and was like, yes, this is my master plan. The funny thing is, like, the community was especially <sighs> outraged because apparently some nine-year-old who was, like, really good at the game, like, you know, he was basically a pro player. Yeah, I mean... As well, live on stream. Sick. That was so, that was so, that's such a funny story, I think. Yeah, it just shows again how like companies just don't know anything, <laughs> especially I mean, did, with the internet. They didn't even like. I don't think they even changed it ever. Like even though there was a massive outrage. Wait, so that the, the kid is still banned, probably? No, that the pro player has been unbanned and made an exception for him. Because well, if they make really exceptions, then they don't even have to make the rules in the first place. That's like I, so stupid. I guess it is. Maybe they changed at some point, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, personally, not a fan of nepotism. Yeah, gotta be honest. Be, especially because people, like the little kids, got their parents probably to spend like hundreds of dollars on the game, some of them. Yeah. Which honestly, you know, you, you shouldn't spend that much money on a, on a CD little game like Fortnite. I mean, you should not spend that much money on almost anything, to be entirely yeah. honest. Honestly, I probably spent like a hundred dollars in the past on that game because I bought like the... Before it was to release the Founders Edition so I could play like the Save the World mode. Yeah. Before even Battle Royale was a thing. Yeah. You know, I also have my 
patches of shame where I spend too much money on games. Yeah, or too much time. Uh, mostly too much money, though. What game uh, have you spent too much money on? Wanna ever stream Smite? It's a free game. How much money have you spent on that game? <laughs> I think I once calculated it uh, with like they still have the numbers of what I actually spend on what packages and stuff. And if I remember right, it was over a thousand six hundred or something. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yep. You could basically buy all the almost all of the Sims DLCs. Yeah, you know what the craziest part is? All of that was like money I accumulated through like gifts from like uh, Christmas and stuff from yeah. my grandparents. Uh, yeah. So now I don't have any of that anymore. <laughs> I mean, I also always spent that on. Games. Yeah, I never spent that on anything. I was planning on spending that on like getting a car someday in the future. Like I was thinking big even back in the day. But yeah, no, that all died in smite. I mean, that was basically my allowance. I just like hey. I bought. I especially bought a lot of Skylanders with it. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. Like I have an entire crate. Still like full of Skylanders in my room right now. Oh yeah. Which is like probably worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, especially I think there's one really rare Skylanders, but I forgot which one it was. I mean, there's like golden variants of some of them, like yeah. golden Spyro. But, but I, I do. Thought there was one that was quickly after it discontinued, and now it's like. I really saw the after one, if I remember right. I don't really know. I didn't... I basically finished the first game, Skylanders yeah. Paris Adventure. And I loved it. Then, like, the second one released, Skylanders Giants. That was also amazing. Yeah. Then after that, I believe, was Swap Force. And I think that was, like, the one I quit on. No! He didn't it. like swapping the forces. I mean, it was basically just the same gameplay again and again, at some point. What? How could that be when multi-million market, uh, multi-million dollar company does a thing and does it again and gets money, it just keeps doing they the same thing? They release one game every year, for like six years. Uh, nice. I, That's I, like I, worse I, than the than Assassin's Creed schedule because Assassin's Creed at least has two studios. I guess. Actually, in and one that, year, uh, didn't Assassin's Creed like release three games in one year? I mean, they probably did that once, but like, uh, yeah. that, that's like a once. Yeah, an a, exception. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like the future ones were still like on the same quality level except for like the last one. Well, I mean there was like one where you could like capture some of the enemies. Pokemon? Kinda. But like you could Hi. play as them then basically. Yeah. There was also one where you could like drive <laughs> cars that you had to buy. Scrap mechanic? <laughs> or wait, uh, na Hello Neighbor Scrap Mechanic? Isn't that their new game? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, this. I, also, I love. Also, there's like the. But like, there's also the. the f like, Swap Force was like the one where you could like take a figurine and fuse it with a different figurine. Ooh. Hype. Like you could take like the top of the guy that shoots fire and the bottom of the guy that shoots water and then you have s have like a mixture of these two I guess. And then you fire obsidian. Row. No, I didn't I... like the gimmick that much. It was a fun idea but I don't oh. think it was executed well. Yeah. You know what I'm still waiting for that has like like a game that would be a really cool mechanic. 
What? Uh, imagine just a game where you can like create your own magic spells and stuff. Yeah. I mean, there is, uh, what's it called, Noita? Yeah, Noita kind of fulfills that, but not not enough for me, I feel like, from what I've seen. I mean, you can do quite a lot with the magic, but it's actually really it's fun. Yeah, but it's like, you can't, I don't know, uh, just make spells yourself or something like that, which have, yeah, like, you... new things. Yeah, but the thing is, like, that will be really hard to code, I think. I think so too, but it's like just... I've once seen it in a Minecraft mod, which is, I think, the best example of what I've ever... what I want, really, from such a game. It's like, you could first choose some basic uh, things, like if it's for defense, for attack, or for other uses and then choose the element and then kind of strengthen it with a few extra things and then it All was right. like you had a firewall or you had an earth wall which i guess pretty much fulfill the same thing but imagine that but with like every attack and then like some extra stuff you can add to it to make it like cost more mana but it's stronger because it has like I don't know, it is a three-way shooter, like, thing, so it's harder to evade or something like that. I guess. I mean, there's, like, the... Magicka also has a similar-ish system. I don't know that one, I guess. It's like, uh, I think I've shown it to you once. Like, you, it's like a top-down kind of game. Where you have like different elements and you can like oh, yeah. combine them and like for example one element like shoots out a beam of energy or something and the other one is like a fire element and then you would just Yeah. I guess if if I'm thinking about the right one right now that that also kinda is that but there's like no modifications you can do yourself. It's yeah. only pre-built spells, which I dislike again. It is true. Yeah. But, 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 but Noita isn't pre-built spells, kinda. Is it not? No, you can, like, choose basically what kind of projectile should come out, what kind of effects it should have, how fast it comes out. If it's multi, multiple ones, ooh, the buttress isn't clean yet. Uh, yeah, I'm searching for the buttress right now. I have the buttress right now. Oh, he's bought in. Uh, board window frames. Are you gonna get the large board or the window frames? I found the window frame. Or one of them. Well, I found the other one. Well, I need to get up on this. Damn it. Wow, that's such a useful climb there. Thanks, game. Yeah. Uh. There we go. What's the barge board? I do not know. This board? Oh, this is barge board, like the, one, the front thingy. Uh -huh. The thing that's at the front of the... the Roof. At the front of the roof. All right. Oh, this one. I guess there was a ladder probably in the way. Oh. Maybe the... Oh, the inside is dirty. Probably on the other side as well. Get out of the way. Ladder. No, oh, no. Maybe up the top of it. Uh... Oh, I see it. I don't even get up here. Let's go. Got it. Oh, was faster than me, hell no. Yeah. Look, it's clean. Ah, let's go. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna do one more map. <laughs> I like how you can see the Among Us at the start. I didn't even know that you placed one. <laughs> 
That's how you find out. <laughs> All right. And you're gonna do one more map and it's gonna be a very cool map. Oh. I landed on his head. Actually, let's do two more. First one to make, uh, that's really cool. Oh. Just two so we can like get some different, some new weapon here. There's no time, I just need to clean. It is the need. The need to clean. You should just like, we should just like, at some point, just pretend we don't know we have cleaned this one before and always like clean it again and again every time <laughs> we play this game. <laughs> like the new DLC comes out and we're like, oh my god, this DLC is amazing. And then like on, <laughs> at some point we just play this one and you're like, oh my god, man, this DLC is crazy. Look at this. Uh, I think Warhammer is the next DLC, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's that go. Would be so perfect. <laughs> For all the people in chat, you know how we got here. How many videos did you make out of Spongebob DLC? Uh, like every map one or...? No, I think I made just one hour videos every time because, you know, podcast format. It's always right. long. So, so one hour videos as long as we... Until we finish the last yeah, mission yeah. after one hour? Or, yeah, uh, pretty much. So basically you end of every episode with recreational vehicle. If we want to, sure. That would be so stupid. Yeah, but you know. For the me. For the May Maze. Actually, I think some maps take longer than an hour, like the subway. I think I even had to split that one apart because we did another mission before that. Alright. Oh no, actually we also ended stream during the subway, that was the problem. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think I'm gonna start the next mission today, because the next mission is quite long. Uh, is that the Helter Skelter or the other one? Uh, bathroom. Alright, yeah. I think you can do those two in the next episode. Yeah. And they then we'll do, the do our only recreational vehicle and recreational vehicle, but again, stream. Oh yeah, that's very important. We could do that like a 24 hour stream until the DLC launches or something. <laughs> that would be so stupid. Yeah, but I would love it, but I don't think I could do it for 24 hours straight. Or imagine every stream we would have to start, up, we had to, to, at some point during the stream, clean one of the recreational vehicles. Like, I, fast most stream, but after like two maps, we're like, alright, now it's recreational vehicle time. <laughs> you know what, I'd be down for that. And then we just go back to fast more like nothing happened. Yeah, I mean, it was just another job. We're hard working Joes. We have our two jobs that we gotta do. Power washing and getting scared by ghosts. Yeah, that's that's what we do. We're professionals. In this business, it's okay to sometimes have two jobs and just, you know, swap between them if you need them. Yeah. Yeah. The people will oh, yeah, understand. By the way, I saw someone on on the internet the other day that I think was the first pe person to reach uh, prestige level 20 in Phasmo. Damn. Do they still yeah. have like a real life or did they just give up on that after prestige level 2? I don't know, man. So basically I already saw all the prestige badges and stuff. Oh wait, you get badges for prestiging? Yeah, you know like the the, the badge that gives us the orange background yeah. that we have right now? Basically, you just get more of those. Oh. But they look like different and like you get different card backgrounds as well. Alright. Wait, so you can change your card thing after or...? Your card, not the... Oh, not the arm badge. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Alright, I always forget this letter doesn't work. 
Uh, basically, that's currently all that ha that happens when you prestige. Yeah. Also, I think you get like more loadout slots. Yeah. Which is like the, the slots where you can choose which items you wanna auto add to the mission and stuff. I guess. Yeah. I guess that's uh, kind of cool. Yeah, I'd say so. But it's not like uh, extremely useful. I think is it is very useful. Really oh, you like already got the indicator. Yep, and these uh, are the hatches. Well, then I'm gonna search for the brake lights. Which one is it? This one? It's uh, somewhere at the top here too, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's this one. No! Wow. We at some point gonna be speedrunners of this mission. Yeah, I would I would love if I just knew every part of this car where what is, so I just have to check those and not have to, like, go with the map thing to serve. Now we're them. gonna do the last mission of the day, I think. Ooh, whatever could it be? It's not something amazing. Oh, it is it's recreational vehicle again. It's so amazing. Who would have thought this could but be a vehicle? But why is it clean? Oh. No. Oh my God! It's a spaceship. It's space. <laughs> Do you know oh. that video? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to the only place capitalism hasn't reached yet. <laughs> Space! I, where's that from? <laughs> I don't remember, but I just... <laughs> I just love that video. Man. I'm I'm gonna watch all the funny videos at one point and then I'll I mean, just I, quote them because I'm not funny myself. I have an entire Where folder of just memes. What? Where did Dave go? I he gone. suddenly wasn't here anymore. I was abducted by aliens. <laughs> no, not They're again! They're gonna probe me. Well, uh, just just be sure to return uh, by time supper starts, I guess. All right. Hey. <laughs> First, when I think of aliens, all I can think of is Family Guy with the one scene where Quagmire was abducted. Well, luckily I don't know Family Guy, so I wouldn't know what that hap when that happened. I mean, I didn't know when it happened, I just know it happened. I I didn't know it happened until you just told me that. Yeah, he liked it. Yeah, that, that as far as I know, Family Guy, I would guess so. Yeah. I mean, I mostly, I mostly just watch, like, the f funny Family Guy clips. Yeah, that you are uploaded like to TikTok in the side while someone is speedrunning uh, subway surfers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I... Uh, I love subway surfers. Yeah, I haven't I played it in 10 years. <laughs> I, I love Family Guy so much. Yeah, Such there's a, a family with guys and gals. Honestly, I do enjoy the show. I think it's honestly better than Rick and Morty, in my opinion. Uh, true! If you it's disagree, true. write it in the comments below after you hit that like and subscribe on the way down. True! <laughs> I have not watched any of these shows. I'm not invested into this. Understandable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I do keep up with Rick and Morty. Not every show is a banger, but sometimes there's a good show. 
Eh, I don't know. I have watched the first episode. And I think that explains where I stand on Rick and Morty. I... Yeah. Have you... Have you heard, by the way, about the Rick and Morty anime? What? They're making a complete anime. Why? I have no idea, but it actually doesn't look bad. It looks like they're making fun of, like, generic anime tropes. Probably. Yeah. At least the opening looks like they're making fun of it. I mean... That could be a cool concept, but I think an other anime that did the exact same thing already exists, which might have done it better. But I guess we'll Maybe. see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna check it out. If might I ever feel it. like it, I might as well. I mean, I usually say, like, I give an episode a couple of episodes, and if I really just can't watch it, I'm just gonna drop it. Yeah, it, it honestly for me depends on the show how many watches I give it. I mean, I don't really like. I don't have a certain amount of episodes. I just like check in, and if I just can't like watch any further, I don't. Yeah, same for me. There's like a show currently airing that I might drop. Ooh, what is it called? What are your hot takes on the current season of shows? It's called Dark Gathering, and like every time I watch an episode, I really enjoy it. Uh huh. But like, I just am not excited for the next episode, basically. Why? If you enjoy um, it? I don't know, I'm just not that into it. Like, it, it just doesn't, it, it's missing something. Hmm. But I don't know what it is. All I'm right. probably gonna watch it further, but I don't know. Yeah. Watched seven episodes so far. Damn, that's a commitment. Yeah, it's gonna be 24 episodes at some point. Mm. And like, it's about a little girl that has that has two pupils in an, in her eyes, her eye. In one eye? Yeah, in like both eyes have two pupils. So she's like half a spider at that point. No, no, no. Because look, like the, the iris part of the eye is just white. Yeah. And then like the white part of the eye is black. But uh -huh. it has like three little stripes at the bottom of the, of the white part that go out into the black part. Uh-huh. So her eye is basically a skull. Uh, Alright. Yes, is it an skull. anime? Yeah. Ah. Alright. It's, it's, it's fun. I, I, I guess. Maybe. Like it's, it's a ghost hunting anime, basically. Ooh, Phasmophobia, watch out. <laughs> It's nothing like Phasmophobia, they actually capture the ghost like in Pokemon. Then they use him to fight the next ghost. Kind of, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> Have it's, you it's ever like, heard of ghost stories? Uh, basically imagine <laughs> like, like them using them to fight other ghosts, but like in a more messed up way. Uh, Alright. With I, like, you know. Torture and stuff. What? <laughs> it's a horror show in the end. Of, at the end of the day. I, g I guess. They have to have something horrifying happen. Capitalism. True. <laughs> Honestly, imagine you make a show that is just basically about capitalism, and you call it like a horror show. Also, like the the, the the show as a yandere in it. Oh, now I know why you watch it. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of her. She's she's really boring. What? How could they <laughs> ever be boring? They do all have the exact same traits and look a little different. But trust me, they're not boring. 
No, no, she like there. She's like different from the, the other and the rest. She's like more. Is she more quirky? She is different. I don't know how to say it honestly. Without giving spoilers, or just in general, don't know how to say it. Yeah, without giving spoilers, obviously, but also like it's hard to say. Huh. All right. Yeah, like she's interesting, I guess, I guess, but it's like the anime's too, too much of a comedy anime, basically. It wasn't that a horror anime? Yeah, it's a comedy horror. Like most horror animes are probably. I don't know, most uh, comedy, uh, most horror anime I watched were pretty much just horror. I mean, Higurashi was mostly comedy and some horror. I guess. Uh, this other anime, what's it called again? Another? Was quite funny. Sometimes. Was it funny? I think it was sometimes funny, I mean it's... Uh, it definitely wasn't scary, you know? I mean, it wasn't scary, but it tried to be, I think. Most horror anime are just either like comedy horror anime or like mystery horror anime. True, I guess. You haven't seen one that's just purely horror. I mean, I would call another just purely horror, but they kind of fail at the horror in my opinion. I mean, it wasn't scary at all. It I was mean, fun to watch, but like it wasn't scary. I mean, yeah, but it feels like they try to make it scary, but just don't know how, you know? Or at I least that's how I think I felt, felt about it personally. There was one horror anime, I don't currently know the name of it. That was really like, it was like a comedy horror. But that one actually sometimes got me with like the jump scares and stuff. Yeah. It's it's like about a girl with blue hair who can see the dead and like she has to not react to them so they don't know that she can see them because if they knew she could see them then probably something terrible would happen. Then they would request to talk to their relatives and then she'd have to commit to social interaction. Oh no! And, and like... S s they had some scenes where it was actually like a bit on edge, uh -huh. I guess. They actually did quite well, the horror elements of it. Alright. Uh, I think it was something called Miryuku-chan Mir Mir or something. Miryuku-chan. It's, it's quite hmm. new, you probably don't know it. But I think I heard of it. Maybe. Yeah. Somewhere here is dirty. Yeah, every fair here feels dirty for some reason. Even though I already went through through all of it once at least. The dirt is hiding. Yeah. The dirt is among us. The dirt is among us. The dirt is a mongoose. Oh, oh, this thing is also dirty. Not Let's anymore. go. Uh, wait. Something else is so. What here is dirty? Something. I don't even exactly oh, know what I'm bit. trying to clean. There we Let's go. go. Uh, this, this thing. Wait, actually, this can also be in here, right? Yep. Oh, I am stealing your sight. Let's go. Oh, you did it. I did. Oh, the outside the Italianian, the Italian saucer. The Italians have once again done it. They've sauced once again. 
Mamma mia. I will not let them sauce again, said Mario. Important question. What? Might be a bit offensive, but what's your favorite set of dressing? Is it French dressing or is it Italian dressing? <laughs> there is only one correct answer. Ooh. French dressing is the only good dressing ever made. It's so good, honestly. <laughs> I knew someone who just put French dressing on everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. <laughs> like, he put French dressing on his salami pizza. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. Like, I especially like liked its French dressing in the... Like, I, I went to, like, school and we had, like, cooking classes, right? Yeah. And we learned how to make... Salad dressing and that was so good. Yeah. And it's so simple to make. Yeah. Just a little bit of mayo, a little bit of... Uh, what's it called? Mustard. And what else do you even need? Mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise, mustard. Mustard in there. Uh, you usually to put a 3 to 1 ratio of mayonnaise to mustard, just so it has a bit more spice. Interesting, I guess. Or at least that's what I've heard. Uh, oh well, you just cleaned that. Uh, wave pulse tractor unit. Well, you've already cleaned that. Uh, Those are lower rims. I found them already. <laughs> One of them at least. Oh, yep. Uh, not what I want. You found the other one then. Yep. <laughs> it shot no. the ladder away, I didn't know! <laughs> no! I didn't know it would shoot the ladder away. We should have replaced that somewhere else. Let me see it in the replay, probably, and honestly. <laughs> oh, man. I love recreational just... vehicle again. Do you get teleported away when like the saucer flies off or do you like get launched away? You get launched away a bit. Ooh. Yeah. I... But yeah, I think that's it for me today. Yeah, I think that that's it. Fam squad. <laughs> bit of a shorter stream than the last couple we've made. Yeah, I mean, a shorter stream's okay once in a while. We like, we think five hour streams is just a bit much. Nah. Honestly, it's not that much compared to other streams, I guess. I, true, I guess, but they stream for a living, we just do this for fun. <laughs> yeah, we basically earn enough as a, like, I don't earn anything, actually. Yeah. You can earn something. Yeah, but I also don't. Yeah, but you could. You have the ability. I do not even have the ability. True, I guess. Subscribe and to my YouTube so I can also <laughs> earn money there. Oh. True, subscribe to his YouTube channel. <laughs> also yeah. subscribe to mine when I finally make a video in like 10 years. Do you even have your channel set up yet? I'm just gonna use the same channel I used for the Celeste stuff now. Oh, alright. Then I, I can... I can come up with a creative name, so I'm just gonna use that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hype. <laughs> like, I wanted to, like, do, like, Bave and Game Development mix those two together, but funny thing is, there's a channel on YouTube called Dave Ga Game Development. <laughs> Hype. <laughs> and I even used his tutorials, because it's actually kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> then, Shout out to Dave, game development. Then just name yourself Dave Development Game. Damn. Or, or game Dave Development. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Development. Wait, actually, that's the kind of fire. <laughs> that, was, that was a name I already thought of, but I kind of... Like, I thought of that name for like hours already. Yeah. But I kinda don't like it. No, Dave Development, I believe. I, t I don't know, like, there's also other channels that are also called Dave Development already because they misspelled development, probably. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. By the way, I'm riding you right now. Just so you know. Anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> end the stream here, though. Right, man. See you guys in the next stream. Uh, goodbye, bye. people. Bye-bye.